Yeah, no, I think that there's something to that. It's like you want to win the culture war, and we've done that so well, right? Like we had all these movies, these TV shows that like shared our culture around the world, and that culture was romantic. It's sexy. You oh go watch God. fucking Top Gun. Yeah. You go watch Maverick, and you're just like, oh, my God, how yeah. amazing is it to be American? How right? about when Rocky wins with American Ugh. shorts on? Ugh. Got American flag shorts the on? best. Away game too, you know what I mean? Like over there <laughs> running in the snow. Like, for him. Yeah. <laughs> if we can change, <laughs> you can change. <laughs> we all change. Thirty years later, same uh, fucking problem. Same fucking problem. <laughs> Bro, I remember when that problem went away. I wait, remember really? when the wall came down. We were so relaxed. It was amazing. Wait, because, wait, wait. Take me back to this. So there's right, a time see, when I was in high school. Yeah. Okay, in the 1980s. I went. I was in. I was a freshman in 1981. And back then, we were terrified of war with Russia. It was a terrifying fear of a nuclear war with the Soviet Union. And, and break this down to me. So it's like, is it you're you're watching the news and they keep? Is there like fear mongering? Do you believe it? Does it feel 100% less propagandist? Hundred percent. There was fear mongering. Hmm. Um, there was a, a there was de- look. It's always been. If it bleeds, it leads yeah. in the news. Yeah. You know, we talk about how bad the news is today, but the reality is, like five o'clock news when you get home from work, it was always the worst shit that happened. Double homicide in yeah. Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah. It's always the worst shit of the day, and, and also out of perspective because it's the worst shit out of millions and millions of people, right? But the big one was always Russia, mm. and you would see the Soviet Union, and you know, you would see their leaders, and you would see their army, and it was terrifying. Yeah. They were the last great communist empire yeah you know before china right yeah. before china really blew up militarily yeah back then we weren't worried about china everybody was worried about the soviet and Union. you felt fear 100 percent. i and talked to my wife and she's fear. younger than me and she felt the same thing and some of my other friends uh i asked them they grew up in different parts of the country and they were like oh yeah everyone was scared scared of the fucking russians man like there was all those movies like red dawn where the russians invade we yeah. kicked their fucking ass yeah, yeah, send yeah. them back home yeah you know, that was what everybody was afraid of. And then the wall fell. And so when the wall fell and the Soviet Union collapsed, mm. we have to realize, like, that was a monumental change in the world. Yeah. People relaxed. Yeah. Like, we relaxed. I was like, thank God. There's no more war anymore. So what year is this? What was the year was the uh, collapse of the wall? What, what year did they blow? The, I want to say. I want to say 89. 90? So then the 90s comes on, and then in What the... year was it, Jamie? 89. 89. Okay, 89. so 90s. So the 90s come along, and no one's worried about war anymore. Yes. Is there a cultural apathy? Because well, the 90s... Well, there's a lot of bad things were made in the 90s. Some of the worst American cars that have ever existed were made during the 90s. We got real sloppy in the 90s. I look at, like, one of the things I look about with America, like, how in tune America is, is it, what's is their the cars automobiles? like? What's their cars like? So Space Race produces yeah. some of the most beautiful cars ever. Space Race and psychedelic drugs. 